Hey guys, so uh, this is the uh, upgrade uh, video for, for the PC. Uh, so if you've uh, already noticed the post and you can see this uh, new version here, version 2 upgrade for Mac and PC. Uh, so you're uh, now listening to the video to uh, talk you through how to upgrade for PC. This already assumes, if I show, scroll down here, that you've already done version 1, you've downloaded it, you've installed it. If you haven't, click and you do this one first, follow the videos here, uh, get yourself onto version 1, and then there's just one file to change for version 2. I will upgrade the installer to be able to uh, do all this stuff for you for people who have uh, not done it first time. So if you want to wait, you can do that. Otherwise, uh, it is actually pretty simple. Uh, but we'll download. Replacing it. Yep, I want to replace it. There we go. Get rid of that. So the there is the file. It's here on my desktop. All you want to do really is replace uh, the one file that's in your slash mods folder. So the quickest and easiest way to find that is start Minecraft. Uh, and then what we'll do is the textures folder, which is uh, one uh, above where we want to go. So we get that here. We'll close this. Otherwise, it's going to complain that uh, Minecraft is holding onto some files for us. I've got a multiplayer uh, and server. Just click on the CGA uh, .me. I had that there for a second. There we go, 191 players in there. So now in the lobby, and go forward, press the minus button. There we go, and I can now pre-select Caveman. I can pre-select Team Two. I can go into uh, let's see, to a Team 33. So now it's should be all ready to rock and roll and go straight into the game as soon as it kicks off if it hasn't already we're down to 20 25 26 players in here all right so we'll see in a second when this gets going um as you can see i've got my uh new heads up display on the top here uh you'll see in a second the same with the video for the mac that uh, i had to put the timer and the uh um, the compass up on the top in the middle because it was sort of clashing with the chat and the, uh, the health details down the bottom, depending on how your resolution was. So it's much easier just to put it up there for now. Uh, but by all means, you know, you know what you think, and uh, if you think it's any good, or if you'd rather it was uh, changed or somewhere different. And uh, we'll try to look at what else we can do. Uh, but for now, everything else should be pretty much the same. You can change your mind, by the way, when you're in game here. If I press the minus button again, I can change my mind to a different kit here now, for example, or I can change my mind to a different team preference. Um, or if I need to go to uh, VIP, uh, go full VIP and buy that because I don't have these kits over here. These kits only you have them obviously unless you've uh, uh, you've actually paid for them either via full pro or you bought a kit. So if you want one of these specifically, you can just press this button and I'll demonstrate that for you. It will open up the shop uh, directly through to the uh, the wall server. Uh, the other thing is if you want to vote, click the voting button. That will take you straight through to the uh, uh, to the voting servers if you want to get the the voter kit here on the left hand side or on the right hand side. Um, either way, if you want to go back, for example, the other thing is if you want to go back to the lobby, you can click on this and it will take you back to the, uh, the main LCGA lobby. Um, or, you know, play around with it, see what you think, uh, see what works for you. And, uh, someone saying hello here, obviously. Uh, see what works for you, and uh, hopefully, this is something uh, that helps your experience and uh, makes playing the walls a little bit more fun, a little bit more uh, easier for you, and not having to look for uh, too many items in your, uh, in your inventory. Um, as I said, as ever, let me know uh, if you have any issues. Um, this game's going to start now. Let me start. Let's hang on for a second and just walk in here and see what the timers look like so you can see both. Uh, 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 uh. So we're walking around here. I don't have any background music, unfortunately, for the. Uh, uh, 
already got, got it if you have a look down the center so you can see as well there is my uh, grunt grunt because I already picked a pre-selected caveman so I can get going uh, straight away and start uh, using my uh, my pick and as you said the, the timer is up in the top in the middle the compass on the top and to the right near the east uh, southeast west north type stuff on the uh, the direction uh, everything else is pretty much there if you want to turn off the heads-up display again press P and it's gone if you want to uh, use the uh, surface command, if you're a VIP already, you can press the L button and I'm surfaced above this tree. You just display. You can see I just lost some heart, so I put that back up. The hit came up to two. Um, the other thing is when someone's in the corner, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to display this just now, but if someone's in the corner um, in, and you want to go there for rush time, uh, so this guy's walking over there. Hopefully he's going to go there in a second. Let's see if that's going to work. If he goes over that direction, then we're going to get the, uh, the, the, the basically the prompt that's going to say, let get shot by this uh, skeleton now. Um, but yeah, so if uh, idea being, if you if someone stands in the corner over here, uh, then you'll get to uh, press the K button and it will uh, TP you directly to the corner. Uh, either way, uh, as I said, let me know if you have any uh, issues with it or you, uh, you want to give some feedback on something that could be improved on it, all ears and uh, look forward to, uh, to hearing from you guys. Thanks very much.